sometimes when we need help and someone hurt us, um, the only people we can tell are like the local bus drivers or something, local bus drivers or local BART people. And the they can't really do much to help us. The only thing to do is to tell maybe a police officer or a teacher if you're a kid at school who got hurt. But sometimes you only have a choice to tell somebody who works on the public bus or public BART or something. And the only thing they can do is call and report it. Report it or sometimes they just can't do anything, but you just gotta tell who you trust. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's me now. Welcome back to my channel or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes and today in this video I have a very interesting story. Yes, another story time. But today's very interesting story time is going to be the time I was on the bus and this kid reported to my local bus driver that he got punched in the face and he had a black eye. And the only thing the bus driver could really do is call and report it for some weird reason to another bus driver. Driver and um this and he told and he told the kid he had to tell either a teacher or his parents, but there was because there was nothing really much he could do. So this is a story just to teach you guys. It's okay to tell like a local public bus driver or a local public bard that somebody punched you in the face, but you need to give more description of who punched you in the face. And also it's just better to tell a teacher because teachers can really do more than a bus driver. But sometimes you just don't always have the choice but to tell um, a bus driver and then Forgot to mention that this bus driver, spoiler alert, had to call in the other bus driver for some weird reason. And it was kind of weird, but at the same time, he really wanted to help the kid, but he only could do so much he could help the kid with. So this is just to let you guys know that sometimes not all public employees on public transportation can help us the way we want them. Um, we just have to tell them what happened and they can only do what they can do to help. So I'm gonna get started and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So I think this all started about six or was it, I'm pretty sure it was six years ago. I was on the bus heading home from a day out with my day program and um, as I'm on the bus, this kid comes on and he has a black eye and he is like, he kind of can open his eye a little bit. It wasn't like a bad, really bad black eye that he had to go to the hospital. It was just a minor black eye. So he walks up to he's to the bus driver who is driving the bus and he tells the bus driver to that he got punched in the face by these boys at his bus stop. I don't really know why this kid told the bus driver he got punched in the face by these boys at a bus stop. But I guess maybe because he was the only adult around at the time he got punched in the face. I don't know why there were no other teachers around around um, on campus at the school because he got picked up from the local middle school. And um, he walks with the bus driver and the bus driver gets on his phone that he had on this bus and he starts reporting the kid's black eye. So he's on the phone like this talking to the other bus driver. He goes, oh, blah, 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 and blah, 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 blah. And I can't really hear what he's saying. So I think he's kind of like whispering it. So I think he's like reporting like the kid getting punched in the eye and stuff and the kid having a black eye. And he, the kid described like the boys and everything who punched him in the face and stuff. And then he starts reporting all this to the other bus driver. Because I guess the kids came on the same bus as him. Kind of weird but honestly he was like doing his best to help the kid so when the bus driver is done hanging up the phone he explains to the kid if you ever get punched in the face blah 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 you're not really supposed to report it to me yada 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 
I can only do so much I can. The only thing I can do pretty much is call the bus driver and yada, yada, yada. Um, another thing you can do is just make sure there's a teacher out. And if you see a certain teacher, tell them and describe the boys you punched in the face. Because there's really nothing that I can do if you get punched in the face and blah, 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 blah. So he explains all this to the kid and the kid understands and goes and sits in the seat. And I noticed the kid with the black eye and I ask him, are you okay? And he goes, yeah, I'm fine, blah, 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 blah. So I think the kid learned that if he needed help after he got punched in the face, he needs to report it to like a teacher just in case there are teachers around. But I don't think there were any really teachers around because um, the kids were um, at the bus stop near the campus. They weren't exactly on campus, so nobody could really help the kid. So basically, Lee, I felt really bad for the kid, and I don't even know if they caught the boys who actually punched him in the eye, I because there were no other witnesses besides just the kid who got punched in the eye. So I think the kid definitely learned a lesson that if he ever gets punched in the eye to report it to the teacher, not really the bus driver. So the moral of the story is you ever get punched in the eye and they're by at school and you're kind of off campus and there's no teachers around to help you. You, um, it's kind of weird to tell a bus driver because there's not really much they can do. The only thing they can do is like, um, like, um, make sure you're okay and stuff. Um, if you ever get punched in the eye, you should always tell a teacher on the campus campus or if there's no teachers like around on campus you can always just go to the office and tell somebody buddy especially um if you're really hurt it's just a really good idea because you don't really want to tell a bus driver when you get punched in the face or hit in the eye because there's really not much they can do except kind of like report it to the other bus driver which is kind of weird if you see the kids who punched you in the face get on another bus or something. So just keep that in mind just to tell a teacher you're not really a bus driver. So that was a story about how this kid told a bus driver he got punched in the eye. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometime. And I'll see you in another video soon. Bye. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe.